Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to be doing a two palettes, two looks. So I'm going to be playing with the BH Zo Original Zodiac palette and the Love Sign palette. I have never used either one of these before filming this. Um, this is the these are the looks from the Love Sign palette. So I'm going to do two looks with these, two looks with these. So yeah, if that sounds interesting, definitely stick around. This is going to be a first impression. Do I like these palettes? Do I think they're worth the hype? Do I like BH Cosmetics? So yeah, make sure you are subscribed. Um, I do currently have two active giveaways on my BoxyCharm Premium video and my new makeup I purchased video. So make sure you are subscribed so you can enter those. And yeah, if you want to see how I got this look using the Love Sign palette or what two looks I came up with with the regular Zodiac palette, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I brought you in and we are going to start with the original Zodiac. So again, I am going to be doing two looks. So I'm going to do one, one look on one eye and I'll do the other look on the other eye and then the same thing with the Love Sign palette. So I brought you in and I'm going to try using the viewfinder as the mirror this time so that I can get you close and then the mirror is not in the way so we're gonna try that so you open it up this is what we've got I think I'm gonna kind of do a mauve color at least with the mats on one eye and then I'm not sure actually a hundred percent what I'm going to do on the other eye. This palette is very earthy toned compared to the Love Sign palette. The Love Sign palette is really the one that I wanted. Um, and then I happened to find this at Marshall's. Um, I picked it up and then I was able to get Love Signs on Poshmark if anybody's interested. Okay, so we're just going to jump in. I am going to take Virgo. No. I'm not going to start off with Virgo. I'm going to start off with the Aquarius matte, which is like a light tan. I'm just going to put that all in the crease as a transition shade. And again, I've never used BH Cosmetic. Oh, it wouldn't be a makeup tutorial. My nose wasn't running. That hasn't happened in a while. And this is Aquarius. I'm gonna hold up the palette every time because that'll take me an eternity. And being this close, it's kind of hard. Okay, and I'm gonna get out my color switch. So I'm gonna be switching this in between each shade. And then I'm gonna go in a little bit smaller of a blending brush. This is a Jessup Petite Crease. I used this when I was doing my rainbow video. I'm gonna take the Leo shade, um, which is kind of a plummy burgundy almost. Next to the purples, it definitely reads a little more mauve, but like right now it looks a little purpley to me, but looking in the palette, it does look a little more mauve when it's next to the other purples. Okay, and being someone with hooded eyes, I'm gonna have to bring this up. I'm just dipping back into Leo. Because if I stop where my crease is, um, because my eyes are hooded and a little sunken in, you can't see it. Okay. And then. This is a little Luxie blend 
blending brush. This is the tapered blending one. Is this the one that I like? It's a Luxie blending brush. That's the small tapered. That's my favorite. I think I used the regular tapered one in my last video and I was wondering why it seemed a little big. I think I have two of these small tapered ones. I have to figure out what happened to the other one. So I'm taking was this the Virgo shade, which is a light pink. We're gonna go above that because I want this to look a little more pink. Yeah, that looks mauve to me. Back into Virgo. These don't seem to be blending out bad. I'm just leaning back so I can kind of see how it looks from afar. Okay, and then on that little, I'm gonna go back into Leo. Just to darken that up just a little bit. Let me do the outer corner. So I'm going to go in with my Sigma, just the E25 blending brush, and I'm going to take the Leo shade and put that on the outer portion of my lid. See, I know I've got like a little. Let me try using the Luxie 237. It's just a really skinny one. I do have a Sigma one that looks similar. It's not quite as fluffy. The Sigma one is the E36. Let me go in with the Luxie one first. I'm going to go in with Aries, which is the black. the outer and it, this part doesn't need to look super clean because I'll go back in and cover it up I just want to deepen that up okay so I'm gonna go back in with the Sigma and the Leo shade and we're gonna go over Black. I'm gonna black that out. Yeah, that was mainly. I don't necessarily want the outer corner to look black. Yeah, that looks darker to me. But I didn't necessarily want to go in. There's a darker, like plummy purple, the Torres shade. Um, I'm gonna go back. In with Leo again. And I'm just trying to like soften that. Okay. And then I'm going to take the little blending brush and a little bit of Virgo again. Just around the top. And then just on kind of a flat little brush, I'm going to try the highlighter that's in the middle. I'm going to just put that under my brow bone. All right. I'm going to take a little bit of the e.l.f. Camo concealer on my little flat unicorn brush. I 
and I do kind of a faux cut crease. I stop right before where my crease would be because um, otherwise my eyes are so small. I've said this in videos before. If I do the thing where you can go above your crease, I have to go way above. And then it, I'm just going to cover that up. I have to go way above and my eyes are so small. Um, I feel like it looks weird. So I usually stop right before. So all I did was I took the pencil, I mean, it's not really a pencil brush, but the blending brush with the Leo shade to kind of blend out where that concealer touched because when my eyes are open, you can't the little mistake and then it just deepened the crease up okay and then I think I'm gonna go in with Virgo the metallic Virgo which looks like this oh, I'm gonna go in I'm gonna try it because it is wet concealer I'm gonna try it with a flat brush so we're gonna take Virgo and then I may go over it with my finger. I know when my eyes open that looks messy, but. When it's closed rather. And I'll touch it up more later, but. trying to I'll have to get used to filming tutorials with that screen okay I don't think that's a bad metallic I'm gonna try Definitely think it amped it up more a little bit going into my finger. And then I'm going to take Libra on my finger, the metallic Libra shade. I'm going to put that towards the edge and I want to use that to kind of help blend into the purple. And then I'm going to go in with the brush, and it still has a little bit of Virgo on it. And I'm going towards the darker shade to kind of help blend. Maybe that looks a little better. There is some fallout. Not a lot. I think it's from the metallic. Okay. And then whew, the lower lash line. No. I think there's my chubby brush. I think I'm going to use Leo again. And then I'll go over it, I think, with a different shimmer. I'm going to take Libra again. That's the darker one that I used on the edge. And I'm going to run that on top. Kind of blend that out. And then I'm just going to take just a little bit of maybe the Torres shade, the darker plum. Just 
concentrating it towards the top lash line on the bottom. Okay, and then for inner corner, I think I'm gonna try the highlighter shade. Oh, and I'm making it a weird color. Okay. that up I think I'm gonna take some if it's not completely dried out this is kitten it's one of the Stila like glitters. I'm gonna see what this looks like. Oh, I need to put this one's like limping along. Oh, I take saline drops, bring it back a little bit. These are from a holiday set like two years ago, so they're probably well past it time but like I said I've been trying to limp it along because these stupid things are so expensive I love the steel of glitter but oh they're so expensive individually oh okay so I just put some steel of glitter on top of that okay and I am going to do liner I'll put a lash on and I'll be okay. right back so I finished it off with this is the Laura Geller incredible ink in purple rain I just did a little bit of that in the waterline use the Hank and Henry blickety black did a little bit of wing and then these are some lashes from Medusa's makeup so I put those on so now we're gonna do a little bit different of a look and I did get out my mirror. I'm just keeping it out of view because I was, have to get used to that. I could see, so that was nice, but I will have to get used to filming like that. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna stay away from the purples because I don't wanna do two purple toned eyes because I thought about using these other ones because I used these, but I think it'll just end up looking like two purple eyes so I'm gonna try and stick to this side the Sagittarius is this green like how green is this that's pretty green okay I haven't, I haven't swatched this at all so okay I'm going to start off with Aquarius again, that tan color. This eye is always harder for me to film on camera because I'm right-handed, but... I think I finally figured out where to put it because I usually try and leave it where I normally film and then that's just stupid, so I think this position needs a little better. Okay. I'm gonna go in a little bit with Capricorn. It's kind of like an army green. <laughs> I'm still thinking about what I'm doing in my head. I don't know yet. Don't know, I'm just winging it. I looked at this palette. This palette, I think I will maybe be more drawn to in the fall. Um, I said the Love Sign palette was the one I was really like excited about. It's got bright colors. This is very earthy and grungy, which I don't dislike. I have some grungy palettes. Ooh, that shade's pigment in, holy moly. 
Um, and I'm still using the same Sigma brush. I just cleaned it off. So I think in the fall, this palette may speak to me a little bit more because it's not a bad palette. The mattes are pigmented and they blend out really well, which is nice. But like I said, it's definitely different from the Love Signs palette, which I think is what they were going for. Definitely a brighter, more lighthearted contrast, so that fits the theme of the other palette. I think there's a there is a hair. It's one of my little baby hairs is like coming down. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna take my Luxie little blending brush and go back into Aquarius. Help me blend. I'm going to go in with a little like tapered brush in that green shade. It looks like an army green in the pan, but it looks almost gray on the eye. Like some of it could be if my brush is not completely clean, but like the one shade looks the one shade that I thought looked mauve in the pan um, looked more purple when I actually put it on my eye. So it's, I've never used their eyeshadows, so it's probably just the formula. I'm going to go back into Aquarius. So this is the first time I'm using BH shadows too. So I'm just not used to their... <laughs> Just their eyeshadows in general. I'm going to go back in with the Sigma brush in that green. Like I said, it looks green in the pan, but I don't know that it's necessarily translating green on my eye. It's not a bad color, and it like really sticks. Some of it could be because I didn't use my regular primer. I used concealer, so I feel like it's really like pigmented and wanting to like cling where I first put it down. Having to really like work to blend. So I feel like that eye looks real smoky, which is fine. I don't think it looks bad. I'm just blending it into the Taurus shade with that same. And I feel like it looks different in person to me than it looks like what I'm seeing in the viewfinder. So that's also interesting. And some of it could be the lighting. I don't have any natural light in here right now. I'm filming this at night. So it's, so the fluorescence could be distorting what I'm seeing and what the camera's picking up makes sense okay not that this needs to be deepened up but I'm gonna take that same Sigma brush in the green shade and we're gonna do exactly what see and I feel like that looks and it could be because I went in with the Taurus shade so the green I think mixing with that obviously made a different color because it looks more green to me on my lid now so it's just the way it blended in with that transition color so I will know for next time if I want it to be more green to not start off with a transition shade go in with the green and then blend it out with the tan so we're this is that's why I'm doing this this is a like said, learning experience it's still looking like grungy green to me but it definitely looks more green on my lid than in my crease. Like I said, I started off with the tan color and then went in with the green. So then it created a weird hybrid color. Like it's not a weird color, but it's definitely reading different than what's on my lid. People watching this that have used this palette are probably like, she's so stupid. But I've never used their shadows. 
this palette was raved about, so I'm trying to get a feel for the formula. Okay, so we're going to go in. No, we're not going to do the cut crease yet. I think I'm going to do a little bit of black, but I'm going to go in with my Sigma brush. It's a very little baby um, skinny blending brush. Now that I know that this black has some pigmentation to it, and this is pretty smoky already, I just want to add a little bit of depth in the outer corner here. In with the green just a little bit on top of it just to blend that out because just like with the other side I don't necessarily want it to translate as black on my eye that green shade really just wants to cling and again it, I'll have to try it with my MAC paint pot and see it could just be, because the concealer is definitely going to create more of a wet base and really like more of an impact of color, which is what I wanted, because um, BH Cosmetics is considered more of a drugstore-ish, like Morphe. So I wanted to give the shadows the most impact they could, so that's why I used the concealer this time, but it can create blending issues. Which is why I don't do it often, but I will try it with the MAC paint pot and kind of see how it does with that. I'm just making a mess with the concealer. So what happens when I, one, don't do makeup on myself for a while and then doing it on camera, I just, it, everything turns into a mess. Okay. I think for the first shade, I'm going to go into Aquarius, which is this like pretty, I don't know, it looks gold with like, I don't even know what kind of a reflux. And I didn't swatch this at all, just kind of dove in. This palette's been out for a long time, so I didn't really feel the need to swatch it um, on camera. So like I said, I'm pretty sure everybody's seen it. And I am not one of those people. Sometimes I will swatch the shimmers just to kind of see what punch level we're working with, but most of the time swatching is not an accurate representation of how it's going to go on your eyes anyway so I just don't I'm not somebody that goes in and swatches every single shade I'm going to go same color on my finger I definitely think it's punchier on the finger but that tends to be the case with most metallics I like that with the kind of green and then I'm going to go in with Capricorn which is like a antique dirty money shade and we're going to put that in between where that line is and that is going to help us blend the metallic with the green on the lid. I like those two colors together. That's nice. And I'm going to take that Capricorn shade on the brush, just a little bit dragging it into the mat, and then I'm going to go back in with Aquarius and drag light into the dark. That's pretty. And then I do think I own a Stila glitter that will go. I think this is Follow the Sun the one I have three newer ones my eyesight is so bad forgive me I can't see which is part of the problem yeah and I have three that I got two years ago and then I found three this past year so 
this one I should be able to go in. Because this one hasn't started to dry out on me yet. Yep, using the saline drops um, helps. You can do that with mascara to bring it back, liquid eyeliner. Um, it can change the formula a little bit, like you saw me put it in with the the Stila glitter. It's just like, it's limping it along. I'm trying to use every last little bit out of that stupid thing, because I like that color. That's probably my most used shade. And then I'm gonna go back into Capricorn, because I feel like the glitter made kind of a line. Just wanna, there it goes, blend that out just a smidgen. Yeah, the steel of glitters, the full size, are like 25 bucks a piece. So, like, if they had come out with that same holiday set this year that I got the year before, I would have bought it again because I like those three shades. But to see what they come out with next, this coming Christmas. Okay. And then again, for the inner corner, I'm going to use the highlighter in the center. You like that highlighter as an inner corner and then under my brow bone like we did on the other side I may try it this is an eyeshadow brush but that's not a bad like actual I, I have highlight on already but I'm just while well, I'm here just curious okay so then I don't know if I want to do green or if I want to try doing gold let me see if this one, gold one does anything it's very stiff it is not but I think I have a good maybe this other gold one let's see if this one does anything are running so that did a little bit this is what is this Avon it's a gold one definitely worked better than that other one I may try and go in with a brown here let's try this brown one And that is, I don't know what this is, Sorm Treatment Cosmetics Satin Eyeliner in this brown. Okay, let's throw the purple one back. And then, oh, now my, everything is running. My nose used to run all the time on camera. Apparently it started again. Um, I think... I'm going to take Capricorn again on this little, where to go, like a little chubby, and I'm going to try and put Sagittarius on top of it. We'll see how this goes. This may look really bad, but again, I'm experimenting with these palettes, so if it doesn't turn out, then you'll know not to do that. And Sagittarius is this green that I swatched. I feel like that's making a really pretty like hunter green. I like that a lot actually, that's nice. That's a fun, I actually like how this turned out. Hooray, it's a miracle. Okay, okay, this is the finished look with both sides done, both lashes on. This lash was fighting me, so I'm glad I didn't try and do that on camera, but I like how this eye ended up turning. Like, I like how green the bottom looks and compared to the top, I like this eye. So I do like this palette. 
um, I do think this color scheme will speak to me a little bit more in the fall. This is definitely fall looking to me, but I don't dislike that at all. So now I'm going to go take my eye makeup off and we're going to do two eyes with the love palette. So I'll be okay. right back. So reprimed my eyes with concealer. We're going to be going into the Zodiac Love. Like I was saying, um, definitely a lot brighter. You do have some earthy tones on this side, but when I was looking at this um, initially, the pink... This pink really drew me in in these like blue shades, so yeah, looks really pretty. It's a little bit of a mess because I did buy this one used on Poshmark. The other one I got new at Marshalls, so this one has been used. Okay, so let me go in with this. It looks similar to the Sigma brush. I'm going to go in with the Scorpio matte shade, which it looks white. I'm just going to put that in the crease just a little bit. It's like an off whitey color. Like it almost looks like it kind of maybe has a little bit of pink, like a pinky undertone, but it looks. Like super light, 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 light pink. Okay. And then I think I'm going to go straight into Aries, which is the dark pink that really like those pinks have really caught my eye. So I'm going to try it with this brush. And then if I don't like this brush, I'll go in with my Sigma. Yeah, this, I don't mind this brush, but it's not like as tight. On the edges is, and I have two of these Sigma brushes. Where is the other one? The other one's probably not much cleaner. To be honest, like I said, I do own two of them, but I don't even know. I'll just use this one. I'll just color switch it. Hopefully. Yeah, I... I got a second one of these brushes is like an Ipsy add-on because I love, like I said, this is my favorite like blending brush. These shadows are very pigmented. I am very surprised. Very happy about that. And I'm going to take that pink. There's a lot of kick up in the paint. And if you've never tried these, I am, I don't have too much fallout with the, um, the matte shades, but there is fallout from the metallics, but this bake formula can be very like crumbly, like bake formulas can tend to be a little bit crumbly, so bringing that up so that when my eyes open you can see it and then I'm gonna go in with the little my little blending brush and the first the Scorpio shade I will say that I think this light kind of off whitey pinky color is kind of a weird Scorpio shade I don't remember what the Scorpio shade was in the other palette, but Scorpio's people like we are a water sign, but I'm a Scorpio if anybody didn't know, but I feel like because we ha are known to have fiery temple tempers, people think of like reds and burgundies and so to have like a white color and then the metallic is like a baby pink, which is funny, but it worked really good for blending that out. So I'm going to take the Sigma brush and the pink. Put that on the lid. This is my go-to eye, like how I do my eye makeup. I think that's why I don't do a ton of tutorials because I end up doing, it's the same eye with different colors because of the way my eyes are shaped and being small and hooded, I'm kind of limited. So I pretty much either do this or the halo eye. So it's the same eye 
just different colors. So I'm always like, I don't know how exciting that is for people, but I've been trying to do more tutorials. So I think I'm going to stop looking at the highlight shade, like in the center. That's pretty. Okay. I don't know if I want to deepen up. There is kind of a gray color. I'm not sure that I want to put that out there on the edge. Maybe I'll try a little bit of it. It's the Sagittarius. Let's see what that is. Because I feel like, again, I want a little bit, maybe more dimension out here, maybe. Just a little smidgen bit. Not necessarily a lot of it, just a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna take that pink and go right on top of it. Let's see if I can. There we go. Like like started to muddy a little bit, but there we go, it came back. Oh, okay. I think that gave a little bit of depth to the outer corner. So again, some concealer, a brush. I'm just taking it right where My crease starts and then I did stop. That's why this is like a faux, like a fake cut crease. I'll cut crease almost because I'm not actually going into my crease. But because my eyes are set back, it looks like I've gone into the crease without having to go above it. <laughs> All right, so let me find my little flat Morphe M17-2. I forgot to say earlier. And I think I'm going to go in with the center highlight shade. We're going to try that and see what that looks like. And then I will do some pink with this, but more on the outer part. do some sort of a pink on the bottom and then I'm going to take this down I will say I think I like the highlighter in the original one just the tone of it the formula seems the same but just the shade of it like it was brighter like that's not a bad like inner corner highlight shade but I feel like one and the other one is a little more white. This is a little more like of a taupey, beigey kind of a color, but it's not bad. I'm going to take some on my finger. That's pretty. Okay, and then I kind of like Torres. So I'm going to take that. a good transition color to go from the light into the matte pink. Yeah, I like that color a lot with that almost champagne-y gold color. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay. I can live with that. Yeah, that goes into the matte. It blends into that champagne color and I'm just flipping my brush over and then light into dark. Kind of help blend into what, like a stark line with the pink. Okay, that's pretty. I can live with that. All right. So for lower lash, 
Again, I didn't plan my looks out. I just kind of wanted to see how these palettes performed. I think I'm going to take Aries again, the pink, and then I'm going to put a different metallic on top of it. Pretty much what I was doing with the other ones. And then I'm going to take Gemini, which is a very like magenta shade. And we're going to put Gemini. My daughter's making noise in her room. She's sleeping, but she's making noise. I'll go check on her. Okay, so I'm going to do liner and lashes on this side, and we'll be right back. Okay, so... I added a little bit of heavy metal distortion glitter to the lid, did the wing, put the lash on, and I like this eye a lot. I think it's really pretty. Um, definitely what kind of drew me into the palette was these pink, pinky tones, so I like it. We're just going to move on into this eye. Okay, I repositioned the camera just a little bit so hopefully it'll be easier to see okay I think for transition shades I'm gonna this is just a Jessup Lux crease brush I'm gonna go into the Scorpio it's like, like I said it's almost it like an off-white with a pink undertone because I feel like it doesn't even really like read pink it was really nice in blending out the pink on the other eye so I don't hate this shade and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight Under my brown, I'm just using the highlight shade. I think that's what I did over here. And I'm gonna put a little bit more of that because you can barely even see it, but it is a nice blending shade because it doesn't have much color. So again, same Sigma brush. I'm gonna go in with Capricorn. It's a very pretty like aqua -y blue. This is the other shade that I really noticed when I was looking at this palette. Kind of pink matte and this blue shade. These are pretty much the only two shades that I saw when I was looking at this palette and then I was like, oh, there's actually a bunch of different like mustard shades in here and some orange. For some reason, I thought there was more pinks in the other palette, but the other one's very purple, neutral. I think this one's more bright, but it I don't know that it really is because there's not that many bright shades. There's just a couple, but I think they picked good ones because those are the colors your eyes really gravitate towards. I'm just making sure that when I open my eye, you can still see. I apologize, I'm sniffling my nose. My allergies have been bad today. There we go. Just a little bit more. And these are really like this shade is doing what the green shade was doing in the other one. It really like clings on and then doesn't want to like move. I am able to blend these shades out, but it really wants to stick to that concealer. And I'm going to go back in with that Scorpio color. I 
like this is doing exactly what that green was doing. Okay, and I'm gonna take the blue on my lid. And I feel like these colors are definitely coming across brighter on the lid than they are in the crease. But again, I did lay down a transition shade, which is what I was experiencing with that green. And then I'm actually going to go in with Aquarius where it's, I don't know if this is like a blue, like a dark teal. It looks kind of like it's a dark teal. We're going to put this in the outer corner. This blends into that blue really nice. So that's good. I'm going to go back in. What is this? Capricorn? That's pretty. A very like Harley Quinn vibes going. I didn't do that on purpose, I swear. These are just the colors that I was drawn to in the palette, but that may be why that I was drawn to them. I don't know. Okay. I like Batman if you're new to the channel and you didn't know that. So I made the Harley Quinn reference, but, um, cause I have the Harley Quinn bat symbol on the other side. All right, so then I'm gonna go back in with the concealer. And again, I don't, I'm not 100% on what I'm gonna do on the lid. So let's pray. I think I'm going to go in with the highlighter shade, but I don't know. I'm going to try and blend this out a little bit. I didn't do this as much on the pink, and I think that's why I was having an issue getting that shimmer to kind of blend out. It's kind of making a line. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do in the middle. But we will go in with the highlight color. And the highlighter in the center does not have a name, so. I don't know what to call it other than the big highlighter in the middle. I guess technically it's the sun if these are all like zodiac shades. But... I'm going to diffuse that just a little bit while I figure out what color to put. Maybe Capricorn. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of the highlighter on my finger. I do think going in with the finger makes a difference with these baked shadows. So Capricorn. Ooh, that's flaky. If you can see the chunks. Sure, it looked like I took that in way farther than I did, but I did, it, did, it was so flaky. Yeah, that's not, that wasn't about, that is flaky. Goodness me. It's pretty, but you're definitely like, if you go in straight with that, you definitely want to put a, some sort of a sticky base down, because I don't even know that that's sticking much to my eye. I think you can see it a little bit. It's pretty, but it is definitely flaky and it does probably need some sort of a glitter primer, concealer, something to stick to it. Okay, and then again, I don't know what I'm gonna do on the bottom. I'm gonna go in with Capricorn, the lighter blue.
still thinking here. I'm still thinking. I'm thinking either Aquarius or Sagittarius. This is definitely more of a grungy. I think I'm going to go Sagittarius. No, Aquarius. The Sagittarius is the purple. So we're going to go Aquarius, which is like a gray blue metallic. And we'll do that on this side. I think you could do the purple too. You could probably even do pink down here, but because I did pink on the other side, I didn't want to have it be all pink. Here, I'm just smoking that out. So it's definitely more blown out than this side. But that looks like that fits together. Okay, so again, I'm just going to do liner, lash, probably add some glitter, and I'll okay. be right back. So here is both sides done. I added some more distortion glitter, liner, lash. So overall, I like these palettes. Um, you got to see me try them first time on camera, never having played with them. I like them. I like all of the looks that I was able to come out with. Um, leave me a comment down below and let me know which eye was your favorite. Um, let me know if you have either one of these palettes, if you like them, if you don't like them what your thoughts are on them. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I apologize that this was a really long video. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye everybody.